Hello guys on YouTube today. How are you guys today? Well, I want to talk to you guys about a rational digital uh, desktop hard drive to turn it into a external hard drive by USB by using it for your HP Pavilion G6 laptop computer on Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows XP, Windows Vista, and also Mac OS as well to use it on a Mac as well. Um, the reason why I'm going to be formatting this whole drive is to show you guys on how simple it really is to format a whole drive externally uh, for your laptop or your MacBook uh, computers as well. Now let's go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. Here is my desktop uh, original digital 2TB internal hard drive for a desktop computer. And by the way, it is inside the external hard drive case. The both of the hard drive is a SATA, and the hard drive case is also a SATA. This is just a standard desktop um, um, uh, hard drive here, just for a standard uh, for a standard uh, computer, and it's compatible with all the different operating systems: Windows 8, Windows 7, Windows Vista, Windows XP, Mac OS, and and Linux as well. To show you how to format this drive, first I need to turn on my drive, uh, my hard drive case, by using it external, and this is also a green model by the way. So that's a standard 2 terabyte hard drive. Going to be using my uh, Windows 7 uh, computer here, it's a HP Pavilion G6 uh, laptop computer. And by hooking up the USB cord directly to the laptop itself, it's also USB 2.0. Uh, let's go to find the USB port on my laptop. And by the way, it, it's bing bong though, but I'm going to show you a bit of a trick here. When you go to your uh, my computer on your um, computer here, you don't see the uh, hard drive. The reason why it's not listed here on the uh, on the drive here, okay, because normally it would be listed like kind of like these. But what you have to do is got to go to your start menu, go to uh, control panel, go to uh, tools, uh, sensory tools here, go to this uh, one here. And it's okay if the screen goes like that, that's what annoying is. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to open the administration tools uh, on the computer. We're going to go to Disk Manage. Disk Manage, so you guys can quite see that. There is the Disk Manage right there. We're going to click on that. Alright. Uh, okay. The one we're mostly interested in is none of these up here. These are all your, your operating system stuff for your computer. The one we're mostly interested in is the 2 terabyte disk 1 drive. This is the one we're, that uh, we're all interested in, the black one. Uh, not the blue one. And we're going to go ahead and how do we format it? Uh, there's a couple of different ways. You can click on the tab here and you can also uh, change it into a different type of uh, disk management here you can see if I change it there I get a lot more of a more of a more gigs there and if I like, go back to the own way I get the less gigs right here but how do you format it? well it's a way you can click on here it says new format but it's not there you have to click on the black one here and all you do is hit uh, format and it's going to ask you Windows is going to ask you for a new format for this disk or hard drive I mean we're going to hit nest uh, you can change the numbers to how many is the maximum of this um, drive itself on how many gigabytes or uh, it's maxed out to um, you can name it to whatever you decide to name it to. Well, what I'm going to name it is I'm going to name it YouTube. 
because that's what I do. And you can come down here and you're going to use this file. Okay, you can also select your drive new files here. But we're not going to worry too much about that. We're going to hit the next button. You can now uh, name it is different ways. Uh, you want to do a quick format or you can do a a folder type format on your drive here but we're going to just do a quick format here we're going to leave it at is the a a the n t f s file we're not going to worry about the fat uh the ex fat file because that's not what we're going to be using we can change the number uh keys as well, we're going to leave that alone. We are going to type in this drive is going to be used for YouTube because uh, that's what I use for my computer uh, for the um, stuff on my computer here. Is just doing the, what I normally do here, guys. You know, type in. U tube. Okay, you don't need to type in youtube.com, just need to type in YouTube itself. And we're going to go ahead and hit the next button. And what it's going to do, it's going to show you all the different little quick ways to format your hard drive on your computer. And by using the Windows uh, 7, uh, this is the easiest way to format a plain old uh, bare bones drive. Okay, now we are going to wait for it to format. It's do formatting the drive, and it's going to it's going to pop up the little Windows uh, thing it normally does. And we'll go ahead and go back and to start. We're going to click on. Okay, see here is the hard drive it's now formatted okay you guys can see that it's now formatted to the computer all right let's go ahead and minimize all the little duties let's exit that uh, minimize that minimize that one and here you see there is the YouTube Y hard drive two terabyte drive by the way it is saying it is one 0.8 terabyte. That's fine because it's only a two terabyte drive. Um, let's go ahead and then to the properties here to see what we got on it. Again, we ain't gonna have nothing on it because it's a empty hard drive. This is where you normally file your um, system or your um, Windows on your computer. But I don't recommend trying to run your Windows operating system off the external hard drive. You could probably do that, but I don't recommend trying that. But and you see, here is everything installed. And you see, there is the hard drive, external drive to the computer. We're just going through all the different setup here to see what it needs to be backup, reboot, and kind of stuff like that. What you can do with this uh, hard drive after you format it, you can use it uh, externally, by the way. And how it is I'm using it, is I'm using it by USB, and it goes all the way over to my external hard drive. It's sitting over here, and now it's been formatted to work on my computer. You can also do this with a Mac, is to format your external build drive by the way this is just a bill bones hard drive no case to it and if you want to use own hard drives you can also use different hard drives for your computer like you can also get small hard drives because this is a original digital uh, hard drive uh, blue edition drive this is a external hard drive it already has all the software and um, functions of a 
uh, hard drive. This is a two, 250 gigabyte uh, hard drive here. It's an external drive. You can like set it over there and have it attached to your laptop like that. Here's a non hard drive here. This is a IDD uh, hard drive and that one's a SATA drive over there. This is a IDD hard drive. This is an internal hard drive, but it's also an external hard drive as well. And this is a 160 gigabyte hard drive as well. You can also use that for your computer. And this is a known hard drive. It's an IDD hard drive with an IDD hard drive case. And also a IDD case as well. This is a 30 gigabyte hard drive here. This is a very small uh, hard drive, by the way. You can use many hard drives for your computer. You can use any type of drive you prefer to use. But the reason why I normally don't go with one of these drives, because after you buy one of these drives, you're going to have the software and stuff on this one. Instead of like just a Bill Bones uh, hard drive itself. Like, you know, like one of these laptop uh, hard drives is a Bill Bones hard drive. And this is a also a Bill Bones uh, hard drive as well. So a pretty nice looking drive. This is an external hard drive. You can actually pop this one open and take the uh, hard drive out and reformat the drive itself. By using all these three different hard drives, you can use different ones. You can use different methods on how to use uh, your hard drives to your laptop. And the reason why I went out and bought a big old two terabyte drive is because none of these drives hold big enough because not for the videos I do on uh, YouTube. And don't worry, I'm not going to break any of these hard drives or anything like that. This is a uh, third gigabyte, third, only a 30 gigabyte drive, 160 gigabyte, and a 250 gigabyte. Uh, let's do a digital blue drive though. And I just got a standard 2 terabyte hard drive for my computer as well. It's a very good external hard drive. I prefer this method of buying just the bare bones drive without the case and without the software already installed on the drive because if you decide to reformat the drive, you're going to lose all that. Um, Precious data on your uh, drive as well. All that different types of hard drive cases, you know, different um, hard drive software on your hard drives. This is a very easiest way to format a desktop hard drive. And let's go ahead and go back uh, into the steps here. We're going to go ahead and close out all these programs here. Alright, uh, here's all I want to show you guys on how easy it is to use Windows 7 or Windows 8 to format your drive. It's very simple. To go to your computer, you can also go to your start menu to go to your computer here. And this is where typically you won't see the hard drive. Right there, you typically you won't see this uh, external uh, drive. Dial. Um, we're going to go back into uh, start menu, go back to your control panel, control panel. Um, we're going to go ahead and go to administration tools. Okay, see administration tools there guys. That's what you would click on. And you can, not the top one, you gotta go to the bottom one to click on the uh, control panel uh, stuff, you know. And we're going to have the uh, thing pop up with the uh, device. We're going to go ahead and use the disk management tool. And you can see, I already have it formatted for you guys. See, you can see it's already formatted into the drive itself. You can go here and change the properties on the drive. You can reformat Delete phone. Uh, delete the uh, version. Or oh, and we're just gonna go ahead and show you that. That's nothing really backed up on this drive. Do you want to back up your data before you format? Well, that's gonna go ahead and delete that. 
And as you see again, it's no longer there. This is why you have to format the hard drive before you can able to use it because this is a, again a bare bones um, hard drive to external of your computer. Alright, let's go ahead and go back to start menu. I go back to computer. You can see there is the the, the only three the only three the three disks here you see my local C drive, uh, recovery disk and HP tools. Back to the start menu, going to go to panel. Okay, go to panel, go to uh, incessant uh, tools here, incessant and tools, go to that one. Uh, go administration tools, that's where you normally go to administration tools, you click the bottom. And it's going to ask you to reformat the drive. And we're going to go back to the uh, hard drive here. And we're going to go ahead and create a new partition. And this time I'm just going to call it whatever it's uh, dial. And it's going to for it's uh, same formatting on the bottom. It's going to take a couple of minutes to finish formatting the two terabyte drive on the external uh, case, by the way, because it's a just a two terabyte whole drive. It's a pretty nice case, and there she goes, all formatted and ready to be used. And you can uh, name it whatever you decide to want to name it, guys. All right, this is a, a how to format your whole drive to your computer. Okay, see so there's the new hard drive, just new format G drive. Alright uh, guys, I hope you uh, really enjoyed uh, this how to format your external or your internal hard drive and turning it into a external drive. I hope you guys like, please subscribe. Please leave a comment if how the original digital 2 terabyte drive is working just fine for me. Alright guys, I will, uh, yeah, please subscribe, uh, please leave a comment below, uh, so like, peace out, bye guys, we'll see you in the next vlog. Bye guys, this is your technology Chris Hill. Alright, later.